Hi guys, welcome back. This is Arif and today I'm going to teach you how to combine two opposite ideas or sentences in a paragraph with the help of different linking words which are also called cohesive devices. Are you ready? Let's start. To combine opposite ideas in a paragraph, we have a different ways. Number one, by using transitions, which are also called discourse markers or conjunctive adverbs. By using prepositions, by using subordinators or subordinate conjunctions and by using coordinators or coordinate conjunctions. The first one, transitions, however, nonetheless and nevertheless. Prepositions despite, in spite of and notwithstanding. Subordinators even if, even though, although, though. Coordinators but and yet. They are used in a different way but they all have the same meaning. Let me show you with an example. Here is a situation. He was feeling bad. Now, if a person feels bad, he should not go to work. But in this case, he went to work. He was not feeling good. He went to work. Now, these two are called opposite ideas because when a person feels bad, he should not go to work or he does not go to work. But in this case, he went to work. It means that there is a contradiction. Now, I'm going to combine these two sentences with the help of transitions, prepositions, coordinators and subordinators. The first one, he was feeling bad. Nonetheless, he went to work. You can also say, however, he went to work. You can also say, nevertheless, he went to work. All of them have the same meaning. He was feeling bad. Nevertheless, nonetheless, however, he went to work. Number two, despite feeling bad, he went to work. Despite is a preposition and preposition can be followed by gerund or noun. We can also use in spite of, in spite of feeling bad, he went to work. The third one, even though he was feeling bad, he went to work. Even though is a subordinator, we can also say although he was feeling bad, he went to work. Though he was feeling bad, he went to work. The fourth one, he was feeling bad, but he went to work anyway. But is a coordinator. We can also say he was feeling bad, yet he went to work. Now. All of them are used differently, but all of them have the same meaning. We can also change the position of preposition and subordinators. We can say he went to work despite feeling bad. We can also say he went to work even though he was not feeling well. Subordinators and prepositions, they can be used before the main class or after the main class.